This is your narrow boat review for December the 29th, and I'm Jack Byer, your narrow boat reviewer. We had 12 logs released since yesterday at about the same time. Uh, some pretty good ones, and I'm really looking forward to going over them with you. First up, let's get to it, is Charlie and Lauren. This is the couple that travels the world. They have a huge uh, media uh, presence, and uh, they just did a Christmas uh, recap with you. Next is Mel and Paul Monroe, and as you remember from the last vlog, uh, they were both experiencing, maybe Mel more than Paul, uh, downsizing to a narrow boat. And this is, uh, Mel seems a lot better now. She's acclimatized, and it's just, the two of them spending some time together on the narrow boat. Uh, my narrow boat venture. This is Alan Davies. It's Boxing Day, and he recaps some of the damage done around the marina uh, with Storm Bella. That must have been something else, because it impressed more than just Alan. Quite a few people have blogged about it. Uh, Aussie Boater had uh, two or three. Um, mainly talking about the snow and so forth around him. Narrow Boat Natterings, <laughs> 2020 Part 1 Review. It was, it, I recommend you watch this one, folks, because uh, this is Lumpy Paul and his wife Paula uh, talking about what happened to them in 2020, how they went through the narrow boat buying process, and uh, up front, they sit down and they've got a cup of coffee and then they put little Baileys in their coffee and I'm sitting there watching this early in the morning and I'm thinking, I'm drinking a cup of coffee. Where is my Baileys? <laughs> so I pause, put the TV on pause, run and get some Baileys, even though it's only like about nine in the morning. Still, Baileys and coffee always works for me. Um, Paul has a very... Has a, has a very nice presence on camera, and he is a professional entertainer, and it shows in their vlogs. I enjoyed hearing their history, and I enjoyed uh, their story. Okay, next was, oh, <laughs> Boat Dog Van. This is Archie on the Dodger. Uh, when we less laughed, when we last, when we less laughed, when we last left Archie, he was getting the van ready and he's off to Europe. Well, two things happened. One, his engine, he had to replace it. And two, the lockdown. If you want to hear the further adventures of Archie and what's going to happen to him in the future, yeah. One thing he did that I thought was really funny, and I'm going to put the clip of, up of it now, and, and I'm titling it The Narrow Boat Life. Let me see if you agree. My lovely lady got me on from Christmas. Right, um... Oh, it's all in the, it's all in the pour, isn't it? It's all in the pour. Oh, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna to have to end up starting this again in a minute. So, Spike, stop licking my feet. This is narrowboat life. Guy, Guy Linker, uh, and I'll put that in a title down below. Uh, he has a an electric narrowboat, and all of his vlogs, and there's about half a dozen, I think, that just talk about his electric narrowboat. So if you want to, if you're interested in hearing what one sounds. <laughs> or doesn't sound like, uh, you know, tune it in. Narrow boat, I'm sorry, Northern Boy, B-U-O-Y. This is a wide beam called the Northern Lights. It was a build out from a shell. Um, the person that does the vlog shows you what he's done over the course of about a year. Um, it's a palace. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, this one only lasts about what, three minutes? Not even. So, you know, you got three minutes to see what a beautiful wide-beam narrowboat looks like? Give it a shot. 
Next, Life Afloat. Again, it's Storm Bella. And uh, we have Storm Bella in the aftermath. I tell you, this guy, he is, he's the kind of neighbor we all want. Because during the storm, he's the one that goes out and checks people's ropes to make sure that they're, the, the boat isn't tipping over or whatever. He looks after his neighbors, and we all need a neighbor like that. Narrow boat changing pace. <laughs> Dave and Louise. Um, this isn't a fair comparison, but here's two talented women. We have Joe of Minimalist, and we have Louise. They both are such excellent directors and editors of their vlog. Louise has a humorous side <laughs> that makes her vlogs so entertaining. She does picture in picture as we've talked about in the past. She has her word balloons that we've talked about in the past. But you can see during the course of the vlog how she had set up certain shots to work. And, you know, she, she, she knows ahead of time what she's trying to do. And then her editing. That editing is so good and it must take her forever. And I, you know, I personally feel like I owe it to her to watch and I encourage you heavily to watch. Uh, let's see, then we have uh, Nagging on a Narrow Boat. That's the last one for today. Let me see what my notes say about it. Hello and welcome for a very quickie uh, vlog from me, uh, Nagging on a Narrow Boat. Uh, just a quick update. Um, I will have a new episode out for you hopefully on Friday um, I've just been flat out over December well the last week of Christmas um, delivering top quality products for you to all enjoy on Christmas Day um, as I'm a lorry driver for a supermarket chain um, thanks for all the thumbs up and for all the well wishes we've had from you a oh, we're on the move I almost I almost passed on that one and I sure didn't want to that's Judy and uh... Judy and Mark, and they've got a lockdown slowdown, and that's what has held them up from putting out more vlogs than they'd like to. They then do an excellent question and answer. Normally, I, you know, normally the questions are like, uh, how many puppies have you had as a kid or something, but this wasn't. This was really serious narrowboat questions, and they, well, most of them. And they gave really good answers. I enjoyed the, the question and answer very much. And then when it was over, they did put up a, uh, a cruise that they took. And, you know, again, it's typical of theirs. It's very good photography, very good scenery, very good shit chat. Um, I, I recommend you watch this one. Well, that's the narrow boat review for the day, folks. Uh, it's a short one, only 12. But starting Thursday, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, those four days is when we get the most of the vlogs. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we don't get a whole bunch. And if we get over 10 tomorrow, I'll come out with the next vlog review tomorrow. But if you want to know for sure when it's coming out, click that bell notification. And I would appreciate if you go down below and click the thumbs up like button. And subscribe, leave comments, enjoy. This is Jack Byer saying thanks for watching. Bye now.